you know, the way that our lives go, it can seem pretty predictable. I mean, we graduate, we get a job, we look for a spouse. Yet, is that really what it's all about? I mean, what if I succeeded in all the parameters of the things I was supposed to do? And what if I, I actually followed through with everything that I said I was going to do? Would that mean that I was really successful? Is happiness found in jumping through the hoops that others have set for us or even the hoops that we've set for ourselves? Is that really where the greatness of my life can actually be found? Or is it somewhere else? Maybe there's something better waiting for you on the other end of daring. Christ is calling for people willing to enter into the culture to save it from the inside, to teach and speak a word of hope and to breathe the word of life, the word of his gospel. This is what our missionary innovator is supposed to do. Belonging fully to the culture of business, the fully to the culture of the professional world, engaging in the systems that shape the culture that we're in right now, but engaging in them with the hope and the daring that comes from God and their faith in Christ. Let me tell you a little bit about how our students are formed. They're formed in to be integrated leaders. And so we have the community aspect of a life of their peers, sharing workspace, sharing a calendar, which forms the context for the quest of God and spirituality, daily mass, adoration, the offices with the brothers of St. John, as their spirits are formed by theology and philosophy classes and master's degree courses. All that begins with a 21-day backpacking trip in central Wyoming at 10,000 feet away from the world and it ends with an all-expenses-paid pilgrimage to Europe to dive deeply into the roots of our faith. Our students get a unique formation in that the best of everything is integrated into the one thing, that fire in the heart of a leader. And that's what we then give as we go forth from here into the world. You know that you're called for greatness. You know that you're meant to lead. You know that you're the one that's supposed to go in the front, even if you don't know where or how. That's okay, but if you let that fire go out, the world will be the darker for it. We don't want your fire to go out. We think that God made that fire inside of you, that fire of leadership, that fire in your belly that's pushing you towards greatness so that it burned brightly. The fire that God has put in your heart, it's there to burn. And at our school, we're there to help you to let it loose in this world. You were not made for comfort. You were made for greatness.